Hey guys, it's uh, time for the second episode. It's been probably about two weeks, and I didn't want to make a second one for a little while because the first one sucked so bad. Let me just tell you, getting freshmen to act and follow a script, it's not really the, it's not really gonna work. It's a really dumb, bad idea. Recently, uh, my professor and I read and discussed Othello, and I wanted to know what you guys thought about a few things. So this is going to require some interaction. Remember, I'm kind of doing this for a grade, so don't be jerks. Um, first of all, I want to know what you guys consider to be the official culture lifestyle of of being well, being black, I guess. So I wanted I'm going to show you some pictures. I want you guys to say whether or not you consider this person black. Um, the first one's very easy. That's John Shaft. Black. Definitely black. You, you don't mess with him. He's a bad mother. Um, the next one. There we go. That's, that's up for debate. You know, some people, some people will say yes, some people will say no. Um, you tell me. Uh, the third one. This, this, uh, I don't really know what to think of this. That is Lawrence Olivier playing the role of Othello. The the more of that is. So what they did was they blacked up his face, they blacked up his entire body, and he walked around uh, with a lot of mannerisms that I guess he thought that someone of darker origins would would uh act like. Sometimes he even seemed to have like a stereotypical grin. I don't really know what to think of that. What I thought was weird when I watched his, Lawrence Olivier's Othello was a lot of times he would have these weird spasms and it was really creepy. But then I had to read over the text a lot and found out that Othello had epilepsy and it was more of an illusion by Shakespeare to the Muslim religion because a lot of people said, a lot of English people who were not for the Muslim religion said that Muhammad had epilepsy. So they're trying to say that Othello may have been Muslim instead of African. Uh, Muhammad, instead of having visions, would have then had epilepsy. Just let me know what you, you, know, you think about that. There's been a lot of adaptations of Othello where he's either, you know, Middle Eastern or he's black. And there's even a version where, I forget his name, Patrick Stewart plays Othello and he's the only white character. Everybody else around him is black. I think it'd be cool to see. I think it, I think something gets lost a little bit there because the idea that this play is so important today is because it's still culturally, culturally relevant. The fact that there's still not, well, for, for anyone to say that there's still not very people that are racist or, or people that are or reluctant to touch the idea the the topic of race would be a complete lie. Uh oh here here's a picture of Lawrence Fishburne playing Othello. Uh I watched that version. I'm not a big fan. It's kinda of bad. It's it's one of those modern adaptations, but we'll talk about adaptations on a different episode. So just uh, maybe write on the wall. I'm I'm starting a blog and a Twitter. I hate Twitter, but if I want people to maybe notice this, I'm I'm going to start a Twitter. But you know, write whether or not you think it's it's cool for actors to black themselves up to to fill a role. All right, peace.